Hi, I'm Alex. I'm Liam, and we're back at the vaults. We're about to see the collision of things. There's about three friends who collide in a foreign city. I'm excited. See you on the side. And we're just out. Basically, it centers around uh, a man who comes to London for the funeral of his father, uh, meets a, a young, interesting couple, and it, the story unfolds from there. Nostalgia was originally a diagnosable disease, and it is a plague upon fringe theatre. Mm, we've seen a lot of it. And when people aren't being nostalgic, uh, they're thinking about how they'll be remembered, because the present is so boring. Subtext was splattered all over the play. For a play that's trying to tell you to live in the moment, these characters didn't really ever live in the moment. Uh, it's a kaleidoscope of cultures. Uh, there's a beautiful Dutch song in there about fishes in rivers and not being eaten by sharks if you go in the sea. That the idea is that you shouldn't be afraid of taking risks. This, this one could have done a little bit more. In fairness to them, it's a really nice harmony between the movement and the music and some of the dialogue, but a lot of it comes off as incredibly twee. I wasn't able to relate to the characters because I felt that a lot of their dreams were just the cliché versions of what you imagine that people dream of when they're, when they're a kid growing up. Astronaut, River, What did you Thames. want to be? Um, a reviewer, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I wanted to be Guard Dog. It's a show that's kind of, um, that is reasonably awash with very poignant and, and, and lovely moments, but the narrative does not sustain those at all. And it's a, it's a young company, I would be excited to see what they do in the future when they're a little bit more developed and I think when they're a little bit more confident in themselves to take some risks and to trust their audience, I think they could be, they could definitely be one to watch.